Well, a new urban farm is coming to the northeast quadrant of Rochester this coming winter, thanks to the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Monroe County. To learn more about what this means for the area, Liam Healy met with one of the leaders of the new project. On the corner of Remington and Morrill sits what is now a vacant lot owned by the city of Rochester. In just a few short months, though, it will soon be the new site of an urban farm, according to Mike Kincaid, the farm manager for the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Monroe County. We're in the northeast quadrant. This is the most densely populated area of Rochester. Uh, we are also currently uh, more than two miles from the nearest supermarket in Arondequoit. Um, I believe the second nearest one is almost three miles away. We will end up, uh, when this is fully built out, with about 2,000 square feet feet of growing space, which will be very similar to the farm on St. Paul. When completed, the farm, along with the one on St. Paul, will help to employ at least five people full-time between the ages of 18 through 26 through the GROWS program. In this past season, employed five uh, full-time employees. Uh, the work is farm work, but really the goal is to help people gain job readiness skills, gain soft skills that they need to have a successful career. We use vegetable farming as a vehicle to do that. Now, this initiative all started here on St. Paul Street at the Cornell Cooperative Extension office with the South Lawn Project, where they've grown over 90 varieties of fruits, vegetables, and fungi, and over the past two years have donated well over 1,500 pounds of food to the People's Pantry. We donated more than 1,000 pounds of produce this past year. Estimate we're probably helping to feed about 30 families a week from the farm. They plan to break ground as soon as possible, and most of the work is hoped to be completed during the winter, but it is quite a task. Since it is city land, they have to build raised beds, import the soil and compost, and among other things, to get the area up and running. Reporting from the Northeast Quadrant, Liam Healy, News 8.